long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Feel, don't think. Fear is my ally. The Force will be with you. We are encouraged to love. Be mindful of your thoughts. I will not betray the Republic. Hey, Your Worship, I'm only trying to help. Scruffy-looking nerf herder! I'm not afraid. You must unlearn what you have learned. So, Star Wars Skeleton Crew gets an earlier Disney Plus premiere on December 2nd rather than December 3rd. Um, I don't know why they decided to move it up, but I guess it's okay. Still waiting to see what movie was moved, uh, what date, what movie date was moved, uh, on the Star Wars scheduling too. Um, can think of a lot of things. Uh, the silence with Lucasfilm has been deafening, but I think, uh, the show is going to be really good. Um, a lot of people have been complaining about, it looks like a 1980s suburban neighborhood. My thing is, so what? It's Star Wars. If you're an actual fan, you know, because you got to understand, why would the galaxy all live like Luke, Han, and Leia? Okay, and maybe Han and Leia would live in a neighborhood like that, an upscale, swanky neighborhood. But still, okay, so you got to give this a, a show a chance. Now, it will fall under uh, the victimhood of um, the law in California that basically prohibits uh, casting appropriate people. It, it's basically DEI, which is nothing more than um, uh, affirmative action. And in 2023, the United States Supreme Court struck down affirmative action, uh, which I think is going to be a help in defeating um, uh, laws, state laws like the DEI law in California, so they can actually start doing what they used to do in casting and casting appropriate people um, to play different characters. Uh, you know, just because you're not happy at DEI doesn't mean you're racist. It means that affirmative action, DEI, basically uh, thwarts creativity. And the Supreme Court case is really interesting because it was brought up by a, a student group called Students for Fair Admissions Incorporated, and uh, they basically they won they won this case. It's tremendous because it not only affects admissions to Harvard, Cornell, Yale, Dartmouth, um, the Wharton School of Business, uh, the University of Pennsylvania or Penn State University, um, all the universities. It affects hiring, okay, because affirmative action basically was. Uh, an attack on the 14th Amendment and the Equal Protection Under the Law part of it clause, which the DEI law in California also violates. Um, so, you know, I look at this and saying, look, if it works, it'll be great. And I think Jude Law is a great pick. Um, I think he's a, uh, I think he's first off a tremendous actor. Um, I think he's a little bit underappreciated, and personally, um, I'm excited for it. I, I can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch uh, this show, and I th again, it's going to be a breath of fresh air uh, because we'll probably get cameos from characters we love, but it's going to be off the grid. It's not going to be about Ahsoka, not going to be about Obi-Wan, um, and... I think a lot of people will uh, be very impressed with, with, with what they're going to see. So, you know, and right now, it's a quiet time for some reason. No news coming out of, of Lucasfilm beyond Henry Cavill circling a role in a Star Wars movie um, as a Jedi, and, uh, which I think is cool. Um, 
but really there's nothing really going on. And, um, so we'll have something to talk about. Well, I, I think skeleton crew will definitely give us something to talk about. And, uh, you know, I'm telling everybody who's uh, being kind of, uh, obnoxiously snotty about it. Give the thing a chance, give the show a chance. Okay. So let's, let's, let's go on. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With the dark shadow of the Empire rising to take their place. This message is a warning and a reminder for any surviving Jedi. Trust in the Force. Do not return to the temple. That time has passed. And our future is uncertain. We will each be challenged. Our trust. Our faith. Our friendships. But we must persevere. And in time, a new hope will emerge. Warn him that if he doesn't leave immediately, you'll be forced to turn on the Acolyte. While this is effective, be warned that it is banned in over 97 countries for being a cruel and inhumane way to treat other human beings. Let us know how these techniques worked for you. The power of one, the power of two, the power of many good... So, we know that the Acolyte's not getting a second season. What I mean by a breath of fresh air is that there's a, there's there's change coming, and it's not just because Trump won. You can feel it. Uh, it started in 2023 when uh, affirmative action was overturned. You know, now someone brave enough has got to go in and challenge the law that um, uh, California installed, which basically denies uh, casting directors and um, filmmakers and, and showrunners uh, the opportunity to cast who they want. It's an attack on creativity. Um, and it's been, look, it's been really quiet since the, the blow up over the Acolyte. Uh, we don't really know what's going on. We do know that uh, the High Republic is being wound down. Um, I don't know if they said anything about anything new happening with it at D23 in Brazil. All I know is that um, uh, Kevin was it Kevin Scott basically said his uh, comic book for the High Republic was the last one coming out, and it's coming out this December. So I don't know if they have any novels coming out, but it looks like it's being wound down. And the reason why is because the show that was supposed to be based on it, The Acolyte, was so poorly received that you can't. Okay, you can't. Um, and you know, why not? Okay. And then of course we've got the, the lies about 
the Ray movie that's not happening. We've got the uh, Simon Kinberg mo trilogy that was basically a surprise to people at Lucasfilm. And, you know, we know that uh, Kathleen Kennedy, um, you know, was having lunch with several media types. And then that bullshit comes out, uh, the Kinberg trilogy. So we know she's still trying in vain to put things out there that will upset the apple cart, and it's not going to work. Okay. We also know that uh, The Last Jedi did not make money. Uh, the, the stuff that uh, Caroline Reed, Reed put out about The Last Jedi is pretty damning. And, um, you know, I think we've got to just sit and wait. And look, my hairstylist, shout out to Lauren, um, basically said, you know, we've been talking about this. When is she leaving for five years? And we're dealing with a woman who's completely mentally ill. She's narcissistic. She's um, uh, a sad, sad case. Okay, she she just is. And um, it's 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 sad. I think it's it's you know unbelievable that she can't just say I'm wrong. We made mistakes. I'm leaving. Okay, that and you know, but when you've got people that work for her, like Pablo Hidalgo, who blame everybody for the, how he treated the fans and the garbage the story group put out there, uh, it's 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 systemic and and it's it's an example of the left not being able to take responsibility for the bullshit they created. Okay. And that's the problem. So I have to say that with the quiet and silence coming out and um, basically, you know, Leslie Headland going to ground, Amanda Stenberg and uh, Jody, whatever her name is, uh, basically being silenced, that Bob Iger's basically said no more. Uh, and their, their agents have said no more. Um, the fact, fact of the matter is, uh, Leslie Hadlin knows she doesn't stand a chance at Star Wars anymore. I think she's, she's moved on. What does Bob Iger do with, um, Kathleen Kennedy? And that's the problem. All right. The problem is why are we sitting around waiting for her to leave? It's been five years and she still won't leave. She got her Indiana Jones movie. It failed. We all know the fallout from that. Why is she still there? Now, some people think she has something over on Iger. I think she would have used it. I think basically she and um, uh, Dana Walden uh, shot their wad with that uh, vicious New York Times hit piece on Iger, and it absolutely backfired on them. And with the loss of Kamala Harris... Um, there's no reason for Bob Iger, who didn't give any money to Kamala Harris, to uh, even pay attention to what they want. They can't do the girl boss thing anymore because it doesn't work, okay? It's not working. So my thing is there's something definitely going on. You can feel it. We just don't know what yet. Um, and the fact of the matter is that at their, at the executives in the film industry know that Lucasfilm is in a state, okay, of chaos. So we just have to sit and wait it out a little longer, okay? And yeah, it's been five years. I can be a little more patient. Anyway, this is Steph signing out. I'll see you around the galaxy. Oh, and happy Thanksgiving.